just happened to me. What in the world could this be? I'm on the verge of an awakening, a new kind of strength for me. I'm here with a tutorial for my Seven Deadly Sin series and today it is MD. This is the second sin from the series and if you haven't seen the previous one, Pride, definitely check it out. I really enjoyed working with my friends on this series so far and uh, so I hope you're going to like what we've created. So let's start with the tutorial. I'm taking this green color with a golden undertone and I'm applying it to the center of the lids. taking this pale golden color and I'm going to use it as a highlight in the inner corner and I'm also blending it with the green. to black eyeshadow I'm going to apply it with a small fluffy brush into the outer V so I'm bringing it slightly into the crease and also a little bit on the lid and uh, I'm also going to make a winged shape to take a big fluffy brush to blend it all together and to get rid of the harsh edges. If you need to, just add more black, blend more. It's all about building up the color to the intensity and shape you're most satisfied with. What in the world is happening? What in the world could this be? Try to make the eyes as even as possible. Again, add more black, blend some more, do whatever it needs to look as symmetrical as possible. You know, just play around with it until you get the shape that you want and suits it the best. And uh, the key is to add the black bit by bit and uh, that way you have control over it and you're not going to mess up that easily. Then I lined the waterline with black eyeliner and I set it with black eyeshadow so it lasts longer. Now I'm lining the lower lash line with black eyeshadow and that is also going to help the eyeliner in the waterline stay put. Then I'm also going to line the upper lash line with black eyeshadow, you know, just to balance it all out since there's a lot of black going on on the lower lash line. Then I'm taking this matte grey eyeshadow and I'm going to contour with it to make the look even more intense. And to finish it off, I line the lips with black eyeliner and fill them in with it. 
I don't prefer using a black lipstick because if your eyeliner is very creamy and glides on very easily, it's a lot more bearable for your lips than black lipsticks since they tend to be very drying. And uh, also the application with uh, black eyeliner is a lot easier. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank my friend Petya for being my model, also the photographers Elvis and Vierka, Bea for the hair, and everyone else who helped with the organization during the photo day, and also Midnight Cafe for their awesome wallpaper, and letting us use it as the background. Check out my blog for more photos of this look and the list of products that I used. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and you can also follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. Transform.